Yeah. Um, you've recently been in Marbella and you went to boot camp and you lost six pounds. Tell me about that. Yes, I went to number one boot camp in Marbella. Um, very, very hard work. Um, five train sessions, six train sessions a day. 7 a.m. start, 6 p.m. finish. Not a lot of food, but enough that your body needs. Um, but yeah, it was. I, I felt great after. So losing, party. losing six pounds <laughs> in three days. Do you think now you're back? You're back to Essex. Do you think you'll keep it off? What have you been doing to to kind of maintain it? I've been going to the gym. Um, I'm going back on Cambridge diets. So obviously, I had a break. I've just started again literally yesterday. Um, so that hopefully should get me back on track. But obviously, can't do intense as boot camp on Cambridge just because it's not healthy. Yeah. What do you think is the media's fixation with your weight? I think the UK, the media, are very obsessed with image like weight loss every magazine you look at is about how they've lost this weight people are going like obsessed with them always been obsessed with me with that for some reason i don't know why um so it's like from day one it's like because i'm not sick thin i'm 25 years old and yeah when i was 19 i was sick thin and you know i'm not now and that's that oh, i've grown to a woman i've got boobs and hips and a bum and legs and that i'm just normal and i think that it's it's it is it's hard because people do watch everything I do, eat, what exercise I'm doing, what I'm wearing, if I've put on, if I've lost. That's the obsession with me for some reason. When you get people that say nasty remarks or give you abuse on Twitter, how honestly does that affect your self-esteem and your body image? So it's really weird. Like you can get, there's so many positive messages and there's so many lovely fans out there. You get that one message and that's the one that you kind of think, oh my God, like it kind of sticks in your mind. Um, but at the end of the day, again, like you can't let that get to you or stop what you're doing. I'm proud of what I'm doing, and it's like that's horrible when it can put you down and back and stuff. But on the other hand, it's like, you know, I can't let that get to you. I'll never ever respond or ever reply to any of them. But what can that one message, that one nasty message, play, you know, in your mind? How how can that affect you? Does that affect what you're wearing, how you feel oh, about course, yourself that definitely. day? You know, more body conscious now than I've ever been not about what I'm wearing and my diet and stuff like that but um you know what what can i do that's, that's that's twitter for you there's actually been a report that's come out that you know whether internet trolls should be exposed mm. and we should actually be able to find out who they are do you think that's a good yeah. thing or a bad thing i do because I even i think the sun um did the article on the back piece of the trolls and someone tweeted me going um well done at blah blah i've got in some paper today so it's like crazy, but on the other hand, it's like, no, you should be named and shamed because then everyone has a go at them kind of thing. It's like, oh, you're a bully, and no one likes to be called a bully, and that's exactly what they're doing. And do you think there should be a severe punishment for people that, they that you know... They deleted off Twitter. And never be able to use it again. Yeah. They shouldn't be allowed to an account, especially... With, but people will do, like, set up a new email. There's ways around that they should be punished and banned for a good few months and then lesson. And tell us a little bit about your sister, because I think mm. she's gone through an eating disorder, hasn't she? Yeah, Jenna was uh, anorexic for about eight months or so. She was in the Priory. Um, she was really, really ill. She was in hospital intensive care as well. Um, and that's so sad. And that's just because someone at school called her Mrs Piggy or something. And I think it kind of fetched her that bad, where she just didn't want to eat at all. She was obsessed with exercising. And do you think that the government and the media could do more right. in terms of their images and what they're putting into their magazines and putting on television programs what would you like to see happen i think they need to kind of like okay i know obviously they think skinny is beautiful and whatever but i think they need to change that around just accept normal just it's really not you know it's like a massive topic and it's like so powerful that they're like you have to be a size zero no you don't because i'm a normal person with a normal body that's it Absolutely, um, and obviously you're you're going to the gym and you're eating healthily mm. to get you know more toned and to feel better about yourself. Yeah. What do you think about young girls going for that quick fix, whether it's a gastro uh, is it gastric band mm. or they're having something even more drastic lipo, such yeah. as lipo? What's what's your opinion on that? I, don't, I think it's all false. I think I've been offered that, you know, and it's like why would I? I can do it naturally. I'm 25 years old. I'm young. I can diet and exercise. It's a lazy quick fix isn't healthy so it's not an option that you should take up it's just you can do it naturally and actually prove to yourself I've achieved that and it's actually quite fun like when you get you're working you've got something to focus on and you're like doing something and you you know every day and you know it's like you're training you're eating healthy and once you've got results you feel great why would you want to go and get it done um, all surgery done and be like oh god 
I've had all this done, I feel like crap, I've had an operation and it's a quick fix, it doesn't last. So what would your advice be to a 17 year old girl thinking I can't be bothered with exercise, I can't be bothered with dieting, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go and have it sucked out? I think lazy, immature, not sensible and I think that there's other ways of proving what I've done. Obviously I'm not amazing yet, I've still got a goal but I've worked on it, I've changed and like there's ways of around it. I would never ever give that advice and I'd want I'd like to help girls like that and actually let them follow my footsteps in that way of doing it naturally. What do you think men really prefer? More natural, more like not so much effort. I think they prefer girls with their hair up, a bit of makeup on, nice dress. I've spoke to guys and they prefer, prefer girls that don't really make a lot of effort and you know it makes them feel a bit more confident as well. Girls that are like so done up like drag queens is not attractive. And I think girls need to realise that coming back down and wiping it a bit off is so much more beautiful. We did see a picture of you actually in a tracksuit and you got packed. Oh and so many people said how gorgeous yeah. you looked. <laughs> so you're not afraid to go out in your tracksuit? No, I, oh God, I always go out like converse, casual, hair up. Now, yesterday I was packed with no makeup on and I thought, oh, it doesn't matter. This is, what I, this is who I am at the end of the day. Yeah, I can make myself done up at the end of the day. It's nice to be a bit more natural as well.